Today's project is one of my favorites because this little guy is so cute. I love baby Groot. I think he's so cute and so funny. So today's project, we're going to create a baby Groot. I hope you have fun and let's get started. So to get started on our little baby Groot, you're gonna need a piece of paper and a drawing utensil. Of course, I always use Sharpies, but you can use whatever you want to for this. And um, if you use pencil, that's totally fine. You can trace it later or you can use it. You will also need some coloring utensils. So any coloring materials that you want, crayons, colored pencils, markers are totally fine for this project. All right, so let's get started. For our baby group, we are gonna start with his head. His head is pretty big um, in this picture. So you're gonna start maybe, let's say, two finger spaces roughly from the top, and you're gonna draw a nice, big letter U. So as I'm doing this, I'm coming straight down. Well, I kind of curved a little, but for the most part, you're coming down and then you're just gonna curve at the bottom and you're gonna come back up. It does not have to be perfectly even because he is made out of wood. So really, he's not gonna be even and that's okay. Okay, so then what you're gonna do is you're gonna kind of curve both of these top edges. Now, he looks like a broken piece of wood. So what you wanna do is kind of come out a little and then you're gonna come down a little and you might just go a couple different kind of sizes. So as I come down, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make little marks and then I'm gonna connect back up like so, so that it looks uneven and then what we're gonna end up doing is we're gonna bring those, those um, lines down to make it look like that wood. All right, next what we're gonna draw is the little mouth. So his mouth is really close to the bottom so we're just gonna draw a cute little, kind of like a smirk. So if you notice, I drew just a line across and I drew it a little higher on this side because we wanna give that idea of a smirk. All right, next we're gonna draw the eyes. So again, we're keeping everything towards the bottom of his face because that is how he looks. So you're gonna draw a nice big circle that is near the bottom to the side. So maybe about two finger spaces from the side. And then you're going to do the exact same thing on the other side, like so. All right, then you're going to draw a smaller circle or oval inside of it, like this. And then you're going to draw an even smaller one underneath, like this, so that we give him the cute little eyes. From here, you can color it in. If you are using pencil, you do not have to color it in yet. You can wait until you actually color your picture. Um, to color this part in, or you can color if you are using like a marker or color pencil to draw, you can take time to color it in. Of course, like always, you can pause the video if you start getting behind and then catch right back up. All right, so now we have our cute little Groot face. Okay, then we gotta add, he has like these cute little eyebrows that I love. So off to the side above your circle, maybe about one to two finger spaces, you're just gonna draw a little curved line to create that eyebrow effect. All right, next we're gonna draw the body. So again, you're gonna be making the U shape. With this, what you're gonna notice is I'm gonna go out, then come down, and I'm gonna come back in. So it's not just that straight down curve. This one's gonna go out and curve in. So I'm gonna start kind of maybe make it about two to three finger spaces in width near the neck. You're gonna come out curve and actually I like to go back up to the top and bring it down to get my line nice and straight so you're gonna come back up and like this so again it's not just straight down an oval it's gonna kind of be a little bit more of that teardrop shape where it goes out then comes down then comes back up okay then what we're gonna do is we're going to add the feet. Now, I made it so that his body, his feet, and his arms are kind of tiny, just because then I think it looks a lot cuter. So from here, we're gonna be doing a similar shape to the body. You're gonna come down and out and back up, okay? So it isn't just a straight down, curve up. It's gonna be down, out, curve, out, back in. And you're gonna do the same side, or same with this side. So. <clears throat> all right so next are his arms his arms are branches because again he is a tree so for this one 
you're going to start right where the neck and the body meet or the head and the body meet and we're going to kind of make him look like he's dancing so you're going to do a little line out like so now with this you're going to start about maybe a finger space down you're going to notice as i go out i'm actually getting smaller okay because this is a tree so I'm going to make just a little line out because I don't want to come to a point. I just want to bring it so that it does get smaller. So I'm going to go out and I'm going to come to that point. Okay. From here, what you're going to do is you're going to add a little kind of a curved line out and a curved line back. In it. And this is actually going to be a leaf that is going to be the kind of tip of his hand. All right, then we're going to make this one come down. So again, right where the neck and the head meet, you're going to bring it, and this one's going to come down. Same thing, I'm just going to make a little mark that comes off of that so I know not to go to a straight point. And we're going to come bring this down and connect. Okay, and this one, my leaf kind of doesn't fit, so I'm just going to draw it so it kind of goes off the page a little. All right. And then we're going to add just a couple more little leaves. So all I do is a curve out, curve it back in, and come to that point. If you come to that point, then it really looks like a leaf. Okay? And I actually think I don't like how that looks, so I'm going to add just a little extra leaf onto that one. Okay? And then we're going to draw one or two more leaves on the other side. So we have our baby Groot arms. Okay, so from here, I'm going to use the Sharpie for this, but of course, like I said, you can use your um, pencil or anything that you're drawing with to draw these. What we're going to do is we want to give it that wood texture, okay? So these lines that I started drawing, I'm just going to, and if you notice, they're not going to be straight. So I'm very, very lightly holding on to my, my marker so that I get kind of these uneven, not so straight lines. And I'm just bringing them down a little bit so that it looks like their wood is kind of splitting, okay? So I'm just going to do a couple of these lines, and again, I'm just drawing super, super light just to create this texture of wood. And I'm bringing it right down kind of near his cheeks and everything too, maybe off the, the head just a little. You may want to thicken your eyebrows if they get a little too lost in those marks. You can, of course, bring some of these marks down into the face a little bit more, too, just like so. Okay, then the body, we're going to do the same thing. Now, instead of just coming straight down, you do want to curve with the body, okay? So I'm actually going to start at the bottom, and I'm just going to kind of do some of these lines that are curving with that shape. I'm going to just do a couple, just like that. And again, it's all just about getting some texture. And some of your texture you will be able to add when you color, like I said. So don't be too, too worried. We just want to give that vibe before we even color. You guys can hear my dog chewing on a bone right now. She's being annoying, but that's okay. Because I love her. All right, then we're just going to add a couple little marks into our leaves so that that's what it looks like. Okay, so now we have our baby Groot. So from here, if you want to make a background, you definitely can. I was thinking I'm just going to add some grass. So all I'm doing is just scribble lines, and I'm not making them even. I'm just making some bigger than others because then this gives kind of that look. And if you notice, I'm changing my direction on it just gives that look of grass. Okay, now of course you can be super creative. Um, Groot loves to dance to music, which I think is super funny. So you can draw little um, earmuffs on it if you want, and headphones, you can do little music notes. Totally up to you what you want to do in your background. All right, so I hope you guys had fun making this one. I'm gonna fast forward the video while I'm coloring so that you can see everything. And then I will check back in and show you the final product. I hope you enjoy this, this video and have fun drawing your Groot. Cute little Groot. 
I decided to add a couple little flowers behind him just to make him even more excited. Don't forget when you are finished with your artwork, always sign your name because you are an artist and that is so important on yours. And I hope you guys had lots of fun. I think this turned out so cute. My mom is going to love this because my own mother loves Groot. So I hope you guys have fun with today's project and I can't wait to see what yours looks like.